Hi everybody and welcome. This video shows you how to get started in GTA Online from scratch or what is the beginner's guide for 2022 in GTA Online. This video will give you a lot of tips and in case you found this helpful, leaving a like down below and also giving the consideration to subscribe would be highly highly appreciated. Now the first thing that you will need to do in order to get started with making money in GTA Online is just steal a random car from the street and sell it to the LS Customs. Now, selling this car to the LS Customs will get you the smartest way of getting revenue or the first venue in this game. Now, when you sell this car, this will approximately sell off for two or three thousand dollars, and that is the way you will make your first money in GTA Online. There is an option to sell this car. Just take a random car from the street, go to the LS Custom shop, and sell it. This car is selling for sixty-five hundred dollars. So yes, the more expensive car you sell, the more amount of money you will be getting. But yes, the, all of the cars on the street cannot be sold. Some of them can be bought and then sold. So you need to take a car on the street like this I took. This one is a very good car and can be sold for $6,500. So yes, this is the first way of making money. We'll just simply steal a car from the road and then simply sell it to the LS Customs. This is the first way of making money. I got the $6,500 with me and this is how you will also make your first money in GTA Online. The price of selling any car from the road to the LS Customs will be approximately $1,500. That will be the base price again I am repairing for selling any car. So this is the first way of making money. Just steal a car and sell it to the LS Customs so that you have some money to get started. The second thing you need to do after selling your car is just go to the internet, go to the Diamond Casino, go to the Casino section over here and pay the $500 fees to get started with the casino. Once you pay the $500 fee to get started with the casino, you will now have access to the casino spin. Now the casino spin wheel does have a lot of options that you can access and also you will be able to win the podium car or the card that is on the podium for every week. The podium card does change every week and after you pay the $500 every 24 hours you will be able to take the spin in the casino. So yes, that is again a very good trick to make money in this game and get started. After doing these two basic things, there are a lot of activities that are taking place in the free roam. So yes, the free roam activities also give you a lot of money. Take part in the free roam activities and these activities from the free roam will also generate a decent amount of revenue from you. The basic starter guide also does have double triple money that I suggest you to do and make amount of money. You can just go to Rockstar Created and every week there are new double triple money jobs in the adversary mode section and also in the other sections of the jobs as well. So every week there are double and triple money jobs that keep changing in this game and playing those double triple money jobs also makes you a lot of money. For example, this week we have the power play adversary mode. You can simply go to the Rockstar Created menu and go to adversary mode and play this adversary mode that is known as the power play. It will generate you a lot of cash and you will be happily earning a lot of RP as well in this job just because it's paying triple the usual amount of RP and triple the usual amount of dollars. Moving on in the video, now the first thing that you will need to do is collect $50,000 of cash. Now once you have $50,000 by the ways I suggested you earlier, those were by playing the double triple money jobs and also by playing the free more activities, you will need to collect a $50,000. Now once you are collected with $50,000, the next and the best step I would suggest you all is to register as a VIP. Simply open up your interaction menu and Go to this option that says secure or serve. Now there will be an option to register as a VIP. It will take you $50,000 and now you can simply register as a VIP and also keep a name for your organization. Once you are done with this, you will now appear as a VIP in the session and every player in the session will notice that you have registered as a VIP. And now talking about the benefits that you have with this VIP, firstly you can request cars. Now just go into the secure or serve VIP menu go into VIP vehicles and you will be able to access the BJ Excel and just keep browsing down through the list and there are many more free vehicles that you can call. Supposingly now I want the stretch 
to be here and once you just request it and it's absolutely here for free so first benefit is this you can access cars for free talking about the best and the next option with the secure so vip is the money making simply go up to the interaction menu go into secure so vip go into the third option which says vip work now the best work here is the sightseer and the headhunter mission Exactly this one that is known as the headhunter and the sightseer mission. These missions are really really easy. You can repeat them after a certain cooldown time and they will pay you $20-25,000 every time you do these missions. So the sightseer and the headhunter are the missions that you will need to do. The difficulty level for these missions is not much. It's a medium kind of a difficulty level of job, the headhunter and the sightseer mission. And also the amount of payout you will be getting after doing the headhunter and the sightseer job is quite decent as well. The main thing as I mentioned earlier as well, you can just repeat these jobs after a certain amount of cooldown time so yes keep repeating on these jobs and the next target that we have in this game is to get to a two hundred thousand dollars once you have those two hundred thousand dollars with you with the amount of methods i told you it's very easy to collect two hundred thousand dollars once you have those two hundred thousand dollars with you simply open up the internet and the next step here is to buy a high-end apartment why i'm telling you to buy a high-end apartment just because it's very much easy to access highs from there and the highs can only be accessed from a high-end apartment repeating this again do not buy any other apartment except from the high-end ones now the first thing you will need to go is to the dynasty 8 website once you're here in the dynasty website go to the high end option and choose the filter that exactly says this one low to high now this one that is the del perro heights apartment 7 this is the basic high end apartment that we have in this game priced at two hundred thousand dollars and this is the apartment you need to purchase this apartment will give you access to all the five original highs that we have in this game the flecka job the pacific standard the human labs raid and also the two more the original highs that we have you will be only be access able to them when you purchase a high-end apartment so yes purchase this one this is the cheapest higher apartment in the game and also this apartment will give you a 10 car garage as well now once we have purchased the high-end apartment and started off with the highest this is our basic guide to how to be a millionaire in this game once you have purchased the high-end apartment there will be an option inside your apartment which will be saying h h means highest and whenever you go in this room this is known as the highest room and from here you will be able to access and play all of the highest remember this can only be taken place in a high-end apartment now once you have started off with the basic guide you will start to earn a lot of money once you start to earn a lot of money you will need to buy cars now the first car that i will recommend you is the karin karuma armor the karuma armor will be purchasable at seven hundred thousand dollars in the game but you can unlock the trade price as well and this is a car that i would suggest you to go as a starter pack in this game now once you have the basic amount of money that is the seven hundred thousand dollars or in case you do the first size that is known as the flecka job completing the flecka job will unlock the trade price for the current karuma armor as well so this is the normal version of the karuma this is a thing that i will not suggest you to buy just because the armored version has armor and it will keep you protected in the game as well so this is the Kareen Karuma armored and this is the first purchase that I would suggest you in terms of the vehicles now once you have purchased this vehicle and you keep on minting money the upgrade to the Kareen Karuma armor is the night shark the second purchase that I will suggest you all to buy in this game is the night shark the night shark again is an armored car it's a fast suv it does have the machine guns as well all of the machine guns are useless but this one is a very capable suv in overall when we see so it's available for 1.24 million dollars and you can purchase this night shark as an upgrade to the karen karuma armor so these were the basic two vehicles that i would like to suggest you all for this beginner's guide moving on to the topic of what are the best guns that you can purchase for this year in case you are a beginner starting off with a special carbine is the best option this the special carbine is not much expensive available for fourteen thousand dollars and i think this is the most value for money gun that you can purchase in the game for a starter or for a beginner this gun makes a lot of value and i think this is the most valuable purchase in terms of the guns that you can make is the special carbine once you have a lot of more funds then you can also upgrade to the homing launcher it's a bit expensive but yes the homing launcher is also a very good purchase once you have more money you can also go for the combat mg the combat mg is my favorite gun in the game you can also upgrade it further to the mark 2 versions but currently for startup just go with the special carbine upgrade it to the homing launcher once you have more funds and getting more funds just upgrade to the combat mg these three are my basic guns that i use in gta online and i would also like to suggest these all to you all as well this was all that i wanted to share with you all in this video this is what a beginner's guide in 2022 gta online looks like i hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative leaving a like down below and also giving a subscription to this channel would be highly highly appreciable and motivating for me thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys with another one really really soon thank you so much for watching and bye bye